Hey, this is Ian from EssentialTennis.com. Welcome to this video in which I'm going to share my ultimate ground stroke power drill. And this is actually going to be a sequence of three progressions. And I want to thank Micah on both Facebook and Twitter who suggested this topic to me. He asked me for my favorite way to get more power out of the ground stroke and not make it such an army shot, meaning just kind of using the arm and instead use some of the bigger, stronger, more powerful parts of the body. So three steps. Step number one is just a shadow swing. We're actually not gonna hit a ball yet. We're gonna start off turned to the side. I want your front foot to be angled into the court at least a little bit. Probably about 45 degrees is gonna be comfortable. You're gonna make a slow, relaxed swing. Start off with your chest facing directly to the side and finish with your chest facing the opposite direction. Doesn't have to be your hips as well. I'm just looking for your chest to turn completely and face the opposite direction. So we're gonna make a 180 degree rotation with the upper body. And as you do this and go through 10 or 15 or maybe 20 repetitions, I want you to focus on keeping your arm from the shoulder down as loose and relaxed as possible. And as you do this, you're relying more on the bigger parts of your body, your core, your shoulders, your hips, your torso, to really create the power moving through the point of contact, the imaginary, uh, imaginary point of contact. Now I'm gonna grab a couple balls from the basket here. I'm gonna drop in front of myself, and the key here is gonna be to continue that loose, relaxed arm, hand, and wrist as I now hit the ball. The vast majority of club players get tense and tight at contact. As a result, their swing is very abrupt, abbreviated, and tense and they don't get nearly as much result as they should out of their effort into the swing. So your focus here is to re, uh, maintain a relaxed arm and continue to make that full rotation with your upper body. So contact is really in the middle of this big exaggerated turn. Making this big of a turn is not something that you want to do on your average ground stroke during an exchange back and forth. This is just a drill to get a feel for using your body more effectively. So again, maintaining a really loose, relaxed arm. And you'll be surprised at how much result you start to get as you focus on making that big turn and keeping your arm relaxed. The third progression, now you can have a friend, a, a teaching pro, or a ball machine start to feed to you and you're gonna do the same thing. Turn to the side, make a big full rotation with your upper body, and focus on keeping your arm very loose and relaxed. And it's not so much that you're trying to powerfully accelerate the racket. In fact, you should feel, where's the remote? <laughs> In fact, you should feel like you're not doing very much at all with your arm. It should feel like it's just the big turn of your body that's accelerating the racket through the point of contact. So there you have it. There's my ultimate ground stroke power drill. Three progressions there. Two of them you can do by yourself. The third one you can use a ball machine or get a friend to just feed a couple easy shots to you while you practice making a big rotation with your upper body and keeping your arm relaxed. Micah, thank you very much for the topic. I appreciate it. If you're watching right now on YouTube and you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Also, if you're watching on YouTube, do me a favor and click like if you enjoyed this lesson and subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on any future lessons. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you again very soon.